I'm Randy Piercy, and I'm one of the Piercy's that own this twine store. It's, uh, it's called Piercy's Twine Store and Stage in the outer battery. And it's not the battery, it's battery. And stage being where we brought in the fishing boats years ago. What it was was the men were, would, would use this to uh, repair their cod traps that were made of twine. And twine was a form of rope that was dipped in bark to preserve it. You got salt water and it would rot it. So everything is salt, 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 right? Oh, well, there's an example right there, a meter. I mean, look at it rusted. I don't think that was put there any more than four or five years ago. You're right on the ocean here. North Atlantic winds that basically uh, we're, we're getting influenced by them all the time. So one of the major challenges that uh, is caused by our climate is, uh, especially with the salt water that's located through uh, in the harbor, is the fact that it grows like all sorts of meters that we, we have in our houses here. That causes uh, a lot of uh, costs towards the customers who uh, have to replace them every uh, five to ten years or so. And one of the ways that people have gotten around it is they've been painting their meters to, to get a bit more out of it. Uh, which is really frowned upon by inspectors. In a couple spots, they actually built a prefabricated stainless steel enclosure. Just knowing the cost of stainless steel right now, to even to fabricate it to what they exactly that customer wanted, would be very, very costly. They have a high corrosive environment with the salt spray and salt fog, so we had to develop a product for them. It's not the same color, so uh, we have to prepare the enclosure first before the painting, and uh, it's a special painting. We have to prepare as well the closure plate and the door and uh, the, the front cover. So everything is prepared so it will all have the same durability over time. Within the enclosure, we have all the, the jaws that needs to be protected. We are putting some grease in, into it to make sure that the utility, when it will have to remove either the, the meter, replace it, or just look at it, and uh, it, they will be able to remove the, easily the, the meter from the meter base without uh, any uh, corrosion that could retain the meter into the, the socket there. One of the best advantages of if we moved into these types of uh, corrosion resistant meters is the fact that uh, A, uh, these customers wouldn't have to be replacing them every five, uh, five, ten years. It should last way longer and B, if there's any prior work afterwards, I, it would be much easier for me to work within it because everything shouldn't be seized and should be very little corrosion so very little replacement should have to happen. That's just one indication there of uh, how the, the weather changes here. And you can be here, let off and out here, and the next thing you know, five minutes later, the wind comes in from the southeast or comes in from the southerly and comes right off the ocean, freeze to death. If you think you can come, you come here uh, as a tourist to, for the weather, uh, uh, I can tell you, you can forget that. You come here for the people. And here at the twine store, some of the stories are a little exaggerated a bit, but uh, they're all true stories. If you believe that or not, I got some swamp land in Florida to sell you. There you go. 